successful business BI solutions with enduring business values are not completed in one and done project, but rather they evolve over time. The BI framework needs to be designed to accommodate expansion and renovation based on evolving requirements, capabilities and skills. The BI framework is composed of four architectural layers, information, data, technical and product architecture. The information architecture defines the what, who, where and why for BI or analytical implications. What business processes or functions are going to be supported, what types of analytics will be needed and what types of decisions are affected, who will have access, where the data is now, where it will be integrated and where it will be consumed in analytical applications, what the business and technical requirements are. Simply picking the best products will not always solve your BI and analytical problem. It will not always attain your goal. You will not always attain your goal with that. However, how do we avoid this trap? You do that by evaluating and selecting the best products. Avoid implementing a BI solution without an information architecture because it will end up costing more. The architecture is composed of data preparation that includes gathering, reformatting, consolidating, transforming, cleaning and storing that data, both in the ETL stage and in the data warehouse. Data franchising that reconstructs data and information for reporting and analysis using BI tools. Business intelligence and analytics that retrieve the retrieves the data stored in the information architecture and delivers it to business users using BI applications. Data management include all the processes and standards used to define, govern and manage an enterprise's information assets within the BI domain, of course. Meta metadata management, which is the behind the scenes processes, procedures and policies that define and manage the metadata used and exchanged within the data infrastructure. We have discussed the important role of the data throughout. The data architecture defines the data along with the schemas, integration, transformation, storage and workflow required to enable the analytical requirements of the information architecture. A solid data architecture is a blueprint that helps align the company's data with the business strategies. The data architecture guides how the data is collected, integrated, enhanced, stored and delivered to business people who use it to do their job. It helps make the data available, accurate and complete, so it can be used for business decision making. Don't confuse data architecture with data modeling. Data architecture applies to the higher level view of how the enterprise handles its data such as how it is categorized, integrated and stored. Data modeling, on the other hand, applies to very specific and detailed rules about how pieces of data are arranged in the database. Where data architecture is the blueprint for your house, data modeling is the instructions for, inst for installing an oven. The technical architecture technologies cover the entire BI life cycle. It is a common mistake to confuse the technical architecture with the products themselves. This typically happens because people associate products with specific technologies. It is important to remember that products may incorporate many technologies, especially with vendors extending their product lines and supporting a wide range of technologies. Resist the urge to evaluate products immediately. Determine your information and data needs and then select the technologies that will support them. There are four technology layers. The business intelligence and analytics layer, which is the tools that a person or process uses to analyze information. The information access and data integration, which are the tools used to gather, integrate and transform data into information and then make it available and the data warehousing, any database or file that is used to store, integrate data and would then be consumed 
by BI and Analytics. Finally, the data sources, which is basically any data source that captures data that can be used by the enterprise. How can we unlock the best possible value of BI? Is the answer to follow blindly one methodology developed by someone else outside our business? And, or do we need to adapt some tips in, to unlock the potential of BI and data analytics consist of business need to measure success in multiple ways, using objective measures when available and recognizing the importance of benefits that cannot be readily quantified. Consider using the Gartner executive support to foster an analytic outcome for your business. Align the BI strategy and the goals of the business by ensuring IT and business personnel working together. Start with a solid data foundation and TAD incrementally and continuously to improve quality, breadth and timeliness of the data. Use BI everywhere and find the relevance for BI for every worker in the company as well as for your customers and suppliers. Create, create a BI culture. Organize BI teams and experts for success and build a solution that balances departmental needs while maximizing economies of scale of an enterprise solution. And finally, choose appropriate BI tools that meet the user and business needs and that work within the technology standards that IT can effectively support.